In this video, we're going to be learning about chaining LLMs in LangChain. We're going to be looking at three different files. We're going to start simple and work all the way up to multi-input, multi-output, multi-chain systems. Let's start with a quick demo of where we will end up at. Eventually, we will define a multi-chain, multi-input, multi-output chain, which writes a description of a given technology which we define in a tone that we define and for how long. And also after that, the second chain actually does a review of that description. Let's see, here we are defining streamlit, tone funny, and 100 words. And when we run this, we see that we also have streaming set up. So we're going to be taking a look at how to get streaming output out of link chain. So here, the first paragraph is a funny written streamlit description. Streamlit is a powerful new technology that makes creating web pages a breeze and the second part is the review it says this is a well-written and engaging text the grammar and spelling are correct and the tone is friendly and inviting because we said funny it interprets it as friendly and inviting let's change the tone to formal while keeping everything the same and let's run it again this time it should be writing in a more formal tone which seems like it Text is well written, easy to understand. Spelling the tone is professional. See, there are two chains, which one of them which describes the technology that is described in the tone that is specified, and the second one reviews the text. So let's begin by looking at a very simple chain at first. I will be putting a link to LangChain documentation about how to get started with chains, also the different types of chains, the chain transformation chain. We will only be looking at them chains in this video how to get streaming output from LLMs in LangChain, and also the sequential chain. I'll put these links in the description. For a very simple LLM chain, we import the prompt template, OpenAI and LLM chain. And then we define our basic LAM as OpenAI, verbose true and temperature 0.5. And then we want to use the LLM chain, but we need to first define a prompt template. So we are using the prompt template, which we have imported. We call this the expand prompt because we're going to be putting in a in technology input here and then we're going to get the template to write a paragraph explaining the following technology and then the technology is taken from the input and then we define a chain which in this case the expand underscore chain with the m chain we have imported we define our m to be the m basic which we have defined on line six and the prompt to be the expand prompt this will take the input variable from the user here in this case we are doing it right here expand underscore chain that runs streamlet and this is not this doesn't implement streaming yet but let's see what happens when we do this after a few seconds we get a response from the openai gpt api saying that streamlit is a web application framework so this is a description of the technology that's why i called it the expand because we give it a name of the technology and it expands on it Let's move on to how we can chain different chains one after another. In this next example, we will be chaining two chains one after another. That's why we are importing simple sequential chain. We will also be implementing a streaming response. That's why we are importing the callback manager and the streaming std out callback handler. Just as before, we are defining our M. The syntax for defining with the streaming is a bit different. We define streaming to be true. We say the callback manager, it has to be the callback manager, which is streaming as the out callback manager, which we have imported right here. The syntax has to match this. We say verbose true to get the streaming printing, I believe. And then we set the temperature. We can also set the other parameters of the LLM here as well. Next, we are defining our prompt, expand prompt in this case, using the prompt template. Input variable is technology. Template is, write a paragraph explaining the following technology. This will be the user input. And then we can we are defining the chain for the expand chain, which takes in the LLM and the expand prompt as the prompt. Then we define the second prompt for the second chain, which is going to be a summarized prompt. Again, we use the prompt template from length chain. Input variable is going to be the paragraph, which will be the output of the first chain. And then the template for this is prompt is the name the te name the technology explained in the following paragraph and the output of the first chain is going to go in to the second chain as paragraph and then we are asking that paragraph to be summarized into a just the naming of as the naming of the technology then we define the second chain as the summarized chain which is the same m that we have defined and this time we are using the summarized prompt 
And finally, we are defining our chain with the simple sequential chain, which we have imported up here. And we are defining our chains as with a list, open a square bracket. First one is expand chain, which is going to write a paragraph about the technology. And then the second one is the summarized chain. And we say we're both false because we are using the streaming uh, ability also streaming automatically prints it because you don't have to print the streaming when you have streaming enabled as we did with the callback manager you don't have to print it explicitly chain.run is going to print it automatically but here we are still assigning it to a variable if you want to do something with it afterwards here we are defining our technology as streamlet so if we run this now we are going to get a res streaming response here we go. Stream is a powerful open source library. So it's going to first define the technology. And after that, it actually defines the technology from this paragraph, which is Streamlit. Let's give it another try. This time, let's do Docker. Let's run it again. Docker is a technology that enables developers to package their applications and dependencies into a single self-contained unit called a container. So it writes the explanation for that technology. And the second chain summarizes it as being Docker. So we can see that the chaining is a really powerful tool that we can use to create all sorts of interesting and complex chains. There is no limit to how many chains you want to incorporate. There is also an async ability now in LangChain, which you can actually run simultaneously multiple chains at the same time. We will talk about async in another video. But sometimes you want to have not a single input to a variable, but multiple inputs. Maybe we want to write a paragraph about something, but we also want to define its tone and its length. So that's why let's take a look at the third, our third example, which does just that. For a multi-input, multi-output chaining, we are actually this time importing the sequential chain and not the simple sequential chain. This is a difference from the two files that we've looked at. The streaming imports and the defining of the large language model remains the same. However, we are changing our prompt. Prompt, now our expand prompt takes in three input variables. One is technology, one is tone, and one is how long. We have also modified our template the prompt to say, write a how long is going to be user input, write a description in the tone of whatever tone we specify, explaining the following technology, whatever technology we are specifying. So this prompt now is taking three inputs from the user. And then we are defining our chain just again with this um, chain, but now we are defining an output key as text because we are writing a text about some technology. We, if we want multiple outputs, when we are defining our chains individually, we have to say, set their output key as well. Here we are setting it to text. Next, let's define a review prompt. This one only takes in one input, which is the text, which is uh, which comes out of this first chain that we are defining. So it the second chain accepts this as input. And the template for this one is, write a review of how well written the following text is. Then we input the text. And then we say review of text, review the review of text for grammar, spelling, and tone. And then we let it go, do its thing. I just want to mention here that we are using a, I am using a doc string here because I created a new line. That's why. Because if I were to use a single quote, then I would be getting an error here. So that's why I was using a doc string. Anyway, now we are defining our second chain exactly as we had defined previously, except we are putting its output key to review. Then we are defining our sequential chain. This could be any name. I've just named it for explanatory purposes. Multi-chain, multi-input, multi-output. We are using the sequential chain and not simple sequential chain. Remember, we have imported it here from langchain.chains. And here we are defining our chains as expand chain to be the first one and review chain to be the second one. We say we're both false. And then we're defining, now we have to define our input variables as technology, tone, and how long, and output variables as text and review. These are the output keys we have defined in each individual chain right here. We have to define both the input variables and output variables for multi-chain, multi-input, multi-output sequential chains. After that, we simply run our chain I just want you to pay attention that now we are not using the dot run method, no run method this time. You just simply say the name of the chain that you have defined. And then now you have to input the user variables as a dictionary, pay attention to the curly brackets, and then you define it as a dictionary key value pairs, technology being streamlit, tone being formal, how long being 100 words. When we run this, we are going to see that a description of the technology in a formal tone 
keyboard take about 100 words is written and after that a review of it is being printed as well text as well written and organized it says i just want to mention something this can get pretty complicated when you're using multi chains especially with streaming for example i wasn't able to get this streaming method to work with streamlit to build a user interface for example but you can definitely use it to build you can use the simple without the streaming function to build one and also when you're doing the streaming automatically prints it to the terminal so that's why actually in this case our multi output is being nullified but if you were using without the streaming ability of Langchain of the response which is returned from the OpenAI API then this out then the multi output would be valuable like I said for more information please check the links I will be posting especially the sequential chains there's a lot of great information I will be posting this code for my Patreon supporters. I will put the link in the description, but I will go over it slowly so you can copy it from the video as well, if you like. And I have also included a requirements that text file, which I found out how to do from the terminal. I'll talk about that here. I will put the requirements to as a file to my Patreon supporters. But I just, so essentially all we need is Langchain and OpenAI pip installed for this. But I found out that I can actually create the requirements, the text file from the pip freeze function. And this just creates the pip list for the entire environment packages. And if I were to go here, this is how you do it, like pip freeze and then make a greater than sign requirements text. So this will look at your environment, which is LC underscore base in my case, and create a requirement that text for every package that exists in that environment. So this is pretty cool. I thought you can install these using the, you can install the requirements that text file using pip install dash r, you have to include dash r requirements that text, as long as it is in your working directory, as it is here in my case. If not, you'll have to put the path to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my Patreon for the files if you need the convenience of being able to download them. Please check my our EchoHive Discord server. I'll put the link in the description and see you in the next video. We will explore more chains in the future, such as such as the transformation chain and sequential chains as well. Take care.